Hello and welcome. If you have clicked this video, you are obviously struggling with thread one signal sigbert, and I'm going to go over what exactly it is and how to fix it. It's quite a common uh, problem that a lot of new programmers working in Swift uh, face. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, let's start up the correct working version of this uh, example here of a red lollipop and a blue lollipop and on them are buttons and when the button is pressed, the left button was pressed as I'm printing it out over there. And if I hit the right button, the right button was pressed as I am printing it out there to the console. And now let's stop that simulation and let's get straight into the problem. Basically, when the thread one signal sigbert is created, you have changed the label of the IEB uh, function. And as you can see, this is assigned correctly to the left button and this is assigned correctly to the right button. Also an indication uh, that it is working should be that, that this button is grayed out and it is connected over there to the storyboard. But however, things can change when you delete this line of code and you want to now rename it maybe you've put in the wrong name and you want to just add something else like blue button pressed. Now when you go and you add that in, it will still be grayed out as an indication that it is connected, but you have changed the label and you have actually added now two assigned properties to this button. And if we run the simulation now, the error will be created. And this is probably what you have done. Uh, you've either changed the label or you've deleted this whole line of code and re-added it in. So I'm now hitting the button and there we are, thread one signal sigbert. So we're going to go head over to the main storyboard. And basically the fix for this is by right clicking on the button and you'll see these are the two properties to which you have now assigned it. It's technically struggling to, to uh, figure out which one's the correct one. So the fix is by hitting that cross and deleting that line of code once again and re-adding it back. And you can call it whatever you want, um, button press again as an example, but you can put whatever you want in there. And thread signal sigberts should be gone. So let's just run up our simulation once again. And let's click the button. The left button was pressed, our code is up and running again. So that is how you fix that error and once you've done it, it pretty much stays in your head and every time you get the error, you can just fix it like that. Good luck on your journey to becoming a master programmer in Swift and iOS. I hope this video helped you. Thank you. Goodbye.